Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a divergent bar chart like this, which is very helpful in doing the comparison. So what I'll do is go to the new sheet. And uh, what I had over there is the year. So I will get it from the order date. If I go and check where my order date is, here it is. And I want it on year. And I will select over here, um, which is quarter. So now I have this quarter properly lined up to cover up this page. And uh, what I have uh, taken for the measure is a custom calculation, which I have created. So let me show you. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to compare the sale of uh, two different ship mode. So for example, if I just drag it down over there, uh, we have first class, um, same day, second class, and then standard class. So I'm just comparing the sales of uh, first class and second class uh, on this uh, uh, for the visualization purpose of a divergent bar chart. So what I've done is I have created a calculated field. If I go into edit, I have given it a name first class sales. Same with a simple if condition, if ship mode is first class then it's give me the sales and once I click OK uh, similarly it will create a uh, measure for you calculated measure and then I have a second class sales if I go in add it it's again very same uh, if ship mode is second class then sales alright so it will bifurcate the sales for me when I will plot it on the chart or, or on this blank space over here all right, so what I'll do is first I will drag the first sales class, all right, and uh, I will choose not automatic but bar, and uh, then I will go ahead and take the second class sales. So now it is in a default order, but what we want is this bar chart to be start from here. So very simple thing that we need to do is double click over here and put negative in front of it and press enter as soon as you press enter this information or this bar chart is now um, starting from the negative side or from uh, the opposite side but two things are uh, one thing if you will observe they are both uh, having the same color so if you want a different color let's say uh, what you can do is uh, you can take this measure name put it here on the color and just say add all members and now you have two different colors over here, which will clearly bifurcate that this is a second class and this is the first class sales. All right, and by these quarters, you can change to month or year or maybe week or even today. So that's one thing. The next thing is, if you will see the, the negative sign over here, generally not good. So what I can do is I will just click it over here right click and go to format number alignment and I'll go to custom and uh, what I'll do is I will say hash comma K all right so now we got the how it was the default behavior and put a semicolon and then say hash comma K so after the semicolon uh, it represents the negative value and before the semicolon it represents the positive value the format for positive value So even if you have a need that you have two different format for positive and negative even you can do that so simply I'm just saying hash comma K and it is giving me the positive values, right? So this is a very quick way of how you can uh, create and format a divergent bar chart in Tableau and uh, do the comparative analysis so it's clearly sh uh, showing me that uh, here in the 2015 quarter four somewhere down there uh, it's it's basically having the issue where second class is having more and on an average if you see people are ordering more from the second class but less from the first class so we can we can actually look into these patterns like what happened over here or maybe over here why it has gone up or gone down and then you know it will give us some some good observation so that's pretty much it from the diversion bar chart video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic